Hi guys, it's a little vlog now on the Russell Hobbs uh, bread machine. Um, I've had it a few months now and it's been working well. The only problem I did have was the paddle. As the bread was cooked, the paddle then was stuck inside the bread and you'd have to pull it out and leave a big gaping hole at the bottom of your bread or if it weren't stuck in the bread you'd still have a bit of an hole at the bottom of the bread. So, so I figured out how to take the paddle out before the bread is cooked. It took a few attempts to get it on the right t uh, temperature of the timer. So this is how I done it. First off, I have measured all my ingredients as I did in my other bread vlog. So you're going to put all them now in the Russellobs. I've gone for the, in the, in the little manual with Russellobs. I do enjoy the plain white. If you can see it there, the plain white, the middle one, which is the 750 gram loaf. So I follow all them instructions then on the weights of the ingredients and I put them in the rest lobs the order they are in the menu by you in the instructions. So let's get cracking. So there's all the ingredients ready now to go in. So and there's the paddle that is the paddle that's what we will be taking out before the bread is done not to have the all you'll have a little all in there so I'll take that all that paddle off you'll have that size all in there instead of having that size all so here goes water first olive oil Salt, sugar. I do use granulated sugar. It does say to use caster, but I've used granulated since day one, and the bread has been fine. That's the dried milk. In goes the flour. As so, and always the yeast last always on top of the flour not even touch the other ingredients so just sprinkle that over there we go and then close the door let's knock it on yeah it'd be better if i knock the plug on so here it goes we are doing the first one which is the basic white and I'm going then for the middle size. So what you do then, you press, I don't know if you can see the little arrow, which is, oh, it's, all, it's on the big size at the moment. So if you press it once, right, so I'm choosing my size now. I want the middle size. So the arrow is pointing to the middle one. And my crust then, I want it medium. So that's dark, so that's high. That's light and I want the middle one and I press that again, you will see the little arrow there. Right, so all you've got to do now is, is 3 hours 15, um, put it to go, then I'll come back and show you how to take the paddle out. So, see you in a bit. Right, so we're back now with the bread machine. Um, I'm down to 1 hour 17 minutes. Around there, one hour, one hour, 20 minutes is fine. Just open it up. You can see your bread then is all ready to be baking. What I do, I push it to one side like that. Get your hands underneath. You can feel then for the paddle. Pull it out. And then just push the bread back into shape. Like that. And it's a way to go, so that should be okay. And the paddle's out, no problem. So we'll come back now when it's cooked. And I'll show you the end results then when it's done. So, see you in a bit. 
Right, so the bread are finished now. We've had the beeps to tell us it's finished. No minutes left on the clock. And here we go. Right. Tea towel now for this because this is really hot, so be careful. Okay. Fetch it over here. Tip it out. Let's give it a little shake and out it comes. Right, and that is the end result. Now if the paddle was still stuck in there, we would have a big gouge here and coming down here or whichever way the paddle came out. So there we are. Marvellous. So I'll leave that cool now and we'll have some nice fresh bread with butter later on with our tea. So I hope this video was helpful and if it was and you want to see more, press a like, comment below, subscribe, it's free and thanks for watching. See you on the next one.